Remember the SOP is that the smog guns are in place. They are sprinkling water for the dust to be settled. And uh, then the authorities will go back to the respective societies. Remember, we're talking about the two adjacent societies. One is ATS Green. The other one is the Emerald Court, the Supertech Emerald Court, the very society, the residents of whose Hatch took this battle to the Allahabad High Court, challenged the Supertech Twin Towers, the construction of the towers, the grazing of which was ordered by the Allahabad High Court, and that very verdict was upheld by the Supreme Court. So it's a big win for the residents of the Emerald Court. In fact, from where I am reporting, I can also see a plane uh, flying. So that no-fly zone that was actually put in place has, I believe, been lifted. I can see a plane over there. I don't know whether the camera can see or not, but uh, this is what the naked eye can tell you, that the no-fly zone has been actually taken away. So that really is not in place at the moment. Remember, there was a no-fly zone during the time of the demolition because of the debris and the dust that had emanated because of the implosion. So I believe that has been lifted because I do see planes flying. We have to see if uh, the, the barricading and uh, the checks and balances when it comes to traffic movements that have been put in place, whether they are now being removed or not. To get a sense of what is happening on ground, let me actually take it to my colleagues who are constantly reporting from over there. Akash, my colleague, is joining me on the broadcast. Yes, Akash, over to you. Take us through what has been the aftermath of this very planned implosion of the Supertech Twin Towers. at a road which is very much you know the same road where we have we had those twin towers in fact and as of now i'm seeing the visuals of the authorities taking care of the dust as of now you can see the water tankers and also the fire tenders and also the police officials basically the authorities are still giving it a check as to if all things went well or not because you know just a few minutes back i had a word with the indian blaster who pressed the final button and he was saying that everything went as per their expectations however they are still giving it a detailed check and they'll let us know as to if everything was smooth and successful or not further let me also mention this that the boundary wall that was the connecting wall uh, between the ats uh, village society and also these stars was slightly hit however no damage has been reported. This was confirmed by Indian blaster Chetan Dutta. Also, as far as authorities are concerned, so authorities are saying that every, everything was as it was planned. But as of now, I'm showing you the visuals, the latest visuals from the same road where we have the debris on that particular side. And also, at this corner, we have the Supertech Emerald Society. You can see the water tankers, tankers, smoke guns, and all other things. Also, police personnel have been deployed because still, common people are not allowed to go inside the particular area. Also, if I can ask Umesh Ju to, Ju to show you the visuals where, you know, you can see the common people who are around. Initially, they were very excited, but now as they are allowed to this particular road, you can see the kind of excitement. They are still recording the videos. They are taking selfies. However, the traffic has not been restored on this particular road. Initially, we were told that around 300 meters, they will not be allowing traffic for at least two hours. And this was initially told. However, we don't know as to what is the initial plan now, what is the final plan now. But I am showing you the visuals where you can see the locals and especially those who are living in Geja village. Because, you know, the kind of excitement that was witnessed, it was first of its kind of event. And that's the reason why, you know, people were very excited. Hundreds of people had gathered and we saw that when this process, you know, happened actually. So, you know, they, they shouted like anything, they hooted like anything. And as of now, you know, this is, they are still excited about this particular exercise that is being carried out. You can see the water tankers, fire tenders and all other things basically after demolition exercises that are being taken place as of now, you know, it has been confirmed that it was a successful exercise. However, we are still waiting for the, you know, observers who are from the same societies, ATS Village Society and Supertech Emerald to come here and check that if everything went right or not. Griha. Okay. All right. All right, Akash, uh, stay on with me. I'm also now joined on the broadcast by Mr. Arvind Kumar Jain, who's the former DGP of Uttar Pradesh, and also Mr. Manish Kumar, who's the senior vice president of NEFOWA, joins me. Mr. Jain, I'll come to you first. 
the demolition has happened. The twin towers are, have been grazed to the ground. Now that you've seen it all play out, your first reaction, sir? Uh, I couldn't get your question, please. Sorry. I just wanted to understand, uh, the, we are getting a word from the authorities that the demolition has happened as per the plan. Uh, you know, now that you've seen it all play out, what are your first reactions now that the demolition has finally happened? Yes, the first reaction is that uh, we are very fortunate that uh, no untoward incident has happened. There is no casualty. There is no major loss to the adjacent buildings. It's a big relief to the, the flat owners who were staying just nine meters in Emerald Towers uh, from the from the blast site. So blast has been successful. And uh, the people who are, who are behind this blast, they should be congratulated. But uh, Noida police, Noida authorities, they will have to be vigilant for a long time because a uh, lot many families have shifted out. They might come and they might not come back today. They might come back after two, three days. So all the properties will have to be guarded and uh, traffic restrictions uh, in, in, the, in the vicinity should continue for some time. Right. Mr. Jain, uh, stay on with me, please. I'm also now joined on the broadcast by Mr. Anupam Mishra, who's a resident Super Tech Eco Village. Mr. Mishra, I would come to you right now. What has been the impact of the implosion at 2.30 once the Twin Towers were brought down? What is it that you actually sensed and felt? Mr. Mishra, if you can hear me, please. Uh, seem to have lost that link. We'll try and reconnect. Remember, yes, a sir. word of a resident of a close-by society is very, very important. We'll try and actually reconnect with Mr. Anupam Mishra. He is a resident of the Supertech Eco Village, very, very close to the Emerald Court. All right, I'm told that he's back. Mr. Mishra, if you can hear me, wanted to understand what was the impact when it comes to you in your society of the implosion. See, impact is in, in my society and I can say that, uh, uh, you know, the demolition impact is definitely is there, right? Because uh, environmental impact is there. Even even we are also, I mean, facing that uh, there is lots of, uh, uh, you know, issues that coming on health related issues because the patients are there, the old ages, uh, you know, citizens are there also. So definitely there is a, I mean, you know, lots of impact because of this. But yeah, end of the time, you know, I can say that the, the Decision of the Supreme Court, Honorable Supreme Court, is really good. And uh, what we feel that, like, you know, at least uh, builders' properties also, like, you know, attach. I mean, their own property also that needs to attach. And the authorities also that needs to, uh, they also, you know, need to uh, penalize for the same because, you know, this is only, I mean, only the demolition is not the actual uh, thing. How far is the Supertech Eco Village from the uh, Emerald Court and ATA screens? If you can just let us know the distance, how, is, is, is how what is the vicinity I mean, it's, it's like? Not, yeah, it's not so close to uh, Emerald Court because you know the uh, that that tower is around uh, 10 plus kilometer from that location, so it is not that much uh, you know close to that uh, uh, demolition. So it's not that much impact, but yeah, overall in, impact is there.